anxiety sometimes is, is one of the things that would rear its ugly head with Seamus. He seems to worry about death and dying. Aaron and I were on our way to a concert. It was going to be an overnight event. And Seamus was staying with some family. Seamus wanted to say goodnight. And when they tried to reach us, they weren't able because we didn't hear our cell phones. And then he was afraid that we had gotten in a car accident and died. I became even more aware and concerned about his worry about death and dying. It seemed like all the time. It made me feel a whole new level of compassion for this little being. How can he worry about more than if his shoes are tied the right way and he's got all the homework in his bag that he's supposed to have? This wasn't a normal young boy's way of thinking. I noticed Jacob continued to draw the same characters. They were dark, scribbly creatures with red eyes, usually. They remained constant in his drawings, not just the typical little boy drawings, but these black figures. So I finally asked him what they were, and he told me they were the shadow people. Jacob drew the shadow people all the time, even at school. But the one that was different was the hat man. The hat man is mean. The hat man always seems to stay away from Jacob as far as proximity. Jacob says he taunts him. He knows Jacob's afraid that he harasses him. Standing outside of his bedroom door saying, Jacob, you only have to take five steps to reach the bathroom light. Do you think you can do it? I don't think you can do it, Jacob. And so it's a constant bullying from the hat man. As he got older, he began to sleep with the TV on so that the room would be lighted. He got more comfortable with it being lighted. I guess it keeps the, the shadow people, especially the hat man, away from him. I was scared in some ways because I know that he really thought he was seeing these things. 